Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys My online friends How are you today? I hope all of you are well With me, Sri Wahyuni The students of the 6th semester of English department At Madako University Tolitoli Today, in this video I would like to explain about Speech app Check it out. Introduction We use language for many purposes. We tell others what we know or think we know. We express our feelings, ask questions, make requests, protest, criticize, insult, apologize, promise, thanks, say hello and goodbye. Language seems to have as many different functions as there are occasions for use of language, but for all the apparent diversity, the basic use of language are rather limited. So, in this video, I will explain more about Speech Act. What is Speech Act? A Speech Act is an act that a speaker performs when making an utterance. Speech act also is an action performed in saying something. Three types of speech act. The first type is locutionary act. The second type is elocutionary act. And the third type is collocationary act. We move to the first type is locutionary act. Locutionary act is the basic act of advance or producing a meaningful linguistic expression. We can say performing an act of saying something or physical advance of words. The second type is Elocationary Act. Elocationary acts are the real action which are performed by the advance. We form an advance with some kind of function in mind. This communicative force of an advance is known as elocationary force. The third type is perlocationary act. Perlocationary act is the effect produced on the listener when they listen a locationary act or this is the hear response. Okay, now in this occasion, we focus on the directive advance, commissive advance, and pathetic advance. The first is directive advance. It is a type of allocationary act in which the speaker tries to make the adversary perform an action. Some examples of that are asking, ordering, and requesting. An example of that like, please close the door, or please turn on your camera in Google Meet when we do in psychology class, or please mute your microphone, and so on. Directive advance, it is conversation between first and second person. Here, the speaker tries to make the hearer do something with such words as like ask, order, command, request, and etc. The kinds of directive advents. There are three kinds of directive advents that can be recognized. The first is command. The second is a request, and the last is suggestion. Comment A comment is effective only if the speaker has some degree of control over the action of the advisee. The example like, you must appear in court next Monday at 10 a.m. The second example is, don't waste your time on that. The second kind is a request. 
request is an expression of what a speaker wants the advice to do or refrain from doing. The example, smoking is not permitted in the lavatory. The second, the boss demands that these letters should go out today. The last kind of directive utterance is suggestion. Suggestions are the utterances we make to other person to give our opinions as to what they should or should not do. The example, I advise you to take my advice. We suggest you to pay attention to what you are doing. Commissive utterance. It is a type of allocationary act where the speaker commits something to do in the future. Example of that. You are promoting your planning. The example of promoting like, I promise to myself that next year I will go to school early. Another example like, um, I promise to myself that I will do better next quarter or I will do better in the next semester. It means that um, you will pass all the activity, you study hard, you study better, and so on. Commissive advances also are advances in which the speaker binds himself to perform or refrain from doing some act at a later time. In other words, they are perspective and concerned with the speaker's commitment to future, to the future action, such as agree, ask, over, swear, promise, and so on. The example, the example like, I promise to be on time. I agree to your terms. Next about petic advance. Petic advance is the exchange of greetings and goodbyes. The purpose of petic advance is to establish a rapport between members of the same society. Petic language has less of this function than the other types, but it is no less important. This condition is met when the speaker and the receiver share the same social habits and recognize static speech for what they are. Look at the example like, how are you? Have a nice day. How is it going? What's up? and you are welcome. Thank you guys for your nice attention and see you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.